fascinating. Uh, my bank account is pretty cool, but I still live in the slum. Das ist die Black Metal Elite. Dieser junge Herr hier. Das ist Fenris von Dark Throne. So, wir sind jetzt bei ihm zu Hause. Fenris, you gotta show us around this place, right? Now we made the way at 2.15 a.m. in the morning. We're all fucking drunk, so are you. <laughs> we, have, we have to look into your collection. Fenris, come on. You have to show us what is important to you in your life. Okay, uh, lately I've been interested in uh, thrash metal bands that don't have the uh, very extremely cool riffs like destruction and shit but basically a little bit boring the thing is uh, i was into a, a little bit boring thrash with a great vocalist because um and i have here one example the taunt a little bit boring thrash but very great vocalist don't, don't cross me look big sunglasses not emperor sunglasses big big sunglasses Very important. Always big sunglasses, cool band. Fenris is here, where's Nocturno? Uh, he's up in the mountains where he lives. He's living six hours from here. Is he mad about us now? Yeah, he... he <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm here now and, and, and doing it, but... He is not the guy that gets mad about these things. No? No, no. He is always... Teddy. Good with the camera. <laughs> Teddy's always steady. If you um, remember, Elvis Presley had on his belt bucket here letters T C B. That means taking care of business. Mm -hmm. That is Ted in yeah. Dark Room. Taking care of business. So who is the evil part in Darkthorn then? I am the angry part, at least. And uh, I think my anger is sort of viewed as upon as a bit maybe evil, because I refuse to play ball with, uh, with anyone. Actually, people stop giving me information because they don't want me to know who is having an ID or anything like that because then I can get mad at the person instead they just give me an idea no, I don't I understand get, the words I just get mad at the idea instead of the person behind the idea that's why it's important then when people give me an idea it's just the idea not the person it's not this guy said that we should do this and that it's yeah. just We should do this and that. And then I got like, no, we're not doing a video. No, we're not doing a single fuck, no. And then maybe I have a week and I think about it and... Okay, maybe. But then I have to decide something. I'm a, I'm a bitch. You just recorded a new album. And it sounds, I only listened to, uh, I only heard one track so far, which is coming after this interview on the DVD, I think. Oh. And to me, it sounds like a black version of Moda. And that's serious now. That's uh, no drunk joke. Okay? When I listened to the first, uh, to that first track, it sounded like a very dirty black version of old Motorhead with uh, Fast Eddie, of course. With Fast Eddie? Hmm, okay. Uh, the important thing for me with uh, the Motorhead is that uh, I am Filthy Animal Taylor. I have a lot to thank uh, Filthy Animal Taylor for, for uh, my drumming. He's uh, one of the drummers I am really inspired by. Uh, it's too bad that he plays some ding 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 ding, ding on uh, the first song on the um, Another Perfect Day album, but... Apart from that, Filthy Animal is a great drummer and I love it. Uh, it's nothing new that we've been inspired by uh, Motorhead. Also on our maybe most famous song, uh, In the Shadow of the Horns, we also have Motorhead influences. So it's been with us since at least 91. Do you know what, we, what you remind me of now? You remind uh, me a of little Lemmy? fucker? No, 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 no. no. You, you remind me of Lemmy saying, 
Uh, rock and roll has to be dangerous, else it ain't, it ain't rock and roll. That's what you're saying, right? Basically. Dangerous. <laughs> Michael Jackson is pretty dangerous, <laughs> and he ain't he even was, rock and roll. <laughs> he, was, he was offending lots of people, right? Yeah, would you wasn't uh, he? Wasn't he? would you lend your children to Michael Jackson? Hey, Michael. Maybe not. No. Take my children for the weekend. <laughs> that's that's how, pretty how scary. How many people have offered you lots of money to play live, and you always turn it down? Ah, uh, no. I could be a rich bitch if I said yes to all these things. Why don't you? Uh, because Starton is my life's work, mm. and. It will be less if I do something I don't want to. Mm. That's why I have a job every fucking day. I have a job. I started working full time since I was 16 years old. Mm. I cut down. Um, usually people take, you know, uh, school. I cut school and just started working to get equipment for dark. You know, I am 34. And I, I started working to get money for equipment for dark drone and put, uh, well, everything into it. You think it's this? You think it? It's very exciting now. This is Rock and Roll gas station by whom? Adrenaline. Adrenaline Ode. Oh, all right. We can always hope it's a... I don't have high hopes that it's the right song, though. <laughs> no, this is a... Uh, this is... Super! The right song now? Yeah? <clears throat> <laughs> it's just something crazy about Is this song called Rock and Roll Gas Station. Yeah. And then... <laughs> How much primitive can you get? It's the Turbo Negro uh, kind of humor, right? Yeah, is it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, did your uncle feed this on you? Oh, no, no. This is, you were uh, this is from 83, I think. Yeah. Now. Hey, dude. Do it up, man. <laughs> Awesome. You, you, you love this shit, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I, I understand now where Dark Tone comes from. <laughs>
you pronounce your name? Gertel? How would you pronounce my name? Uh, Gertel. 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 It's G R U T L E, so it's not Gertel. It's Grutle. But if okay, you so get... if I say Grutle, no, you'll be fine. Grutle. No? That's good. Grutle. Grutle. Not Grutel, but Grutle. Grutle. That's, that's, yeah. that's okay. okay. Nobody in the band was ever on a television show. Никогда не были на телешоу. Приглашали, но это не наш стайл. Да. Это были обычные африканские передачи. Спасибо. Yes, we they invited us, but it was not very beautiful uh, TV shows. <laughs> was it a show called The Brady Bunch? But... What is it? Well, I heard that in Russia you were, uh, or she was on a show called The Brady Bunch, and her sister kept saying Masha, Masha, Masha. Is that true? <laughs> what is it pretty much? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so Russia is not very Americanized. American television does not really come no, to Russia. No. Alright. Is it because Americans are stupid? <laughs> <laughs> of course no. Of course no. Alright, you can say something in Russian about Americans that we will never know. Скажи что-нибудь по-русски для американцев, что они никогда не будут знать. That's Yoba. Has anybody been like forward with you? Like any of the guys been trying to like sneak into your your van with you? No, I think they're all scared of me. Scared of me? Yes. Most men are. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, I I've not been hit on at all. I think they're all a little bit frightened of me or my chihuahua party time. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's party time's kind of my watchdog. But um, yeah, you know, everyone's been really respectful. I think I had one night where an audience member slapped me on the ass twice. And what happened after that? Did uh, you slap then back? I no. Then I warned him. I said, "You're getting kicked out. You're going to have my, my heel down your throat. So you decide what you'd like to do." Very nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, I worked in nightlife for so many years. I don't need any schmucks to do that. I mean, I know how to handle it. But um, yeah, so everyone's been really respectful so far. I've been there before, let me tell you, because yeah. there was one instance where I was crowd surfing, and then after I was crowd surfing and walking away, a guy reached right in between my legs and right up the crotch. Whoa. Yeah, yeah it was awesome. Whoa, awesome. yeah. With pants on and all. Yeah. Oh, super. Lord. Yeah. Love metal guys. <laughs> been tempted to make a cover song, a brutal song of a pop band? Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's, if it's the right song in the right location, but... Uh, well, oh, oh, it's not an ABBA song. You, yeah, uh, you, can, you can make an like, ABBA maybe, song maybe ABBA Cadabra. Uh, we did <laughs> Twisted Sister, I mean, that's, that's pretty close pop, enough. That's not pop, though, no. It's, that's but but still. If, if you made all ABBA songs, you could call it ABBA Cadabra as a bonus. Yeah, thing. yeah, <laughs> no? that's now I got it. So many bands say how they are inspired by Voivod. What bands were Voivod inspired by? If I may ask a question, how original is the question, what are your influences? <laughs> How important is penis size to a Scandinavian? Well, like, first to a Scandinavian man. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I, I, I just know my own, and, and yeah, I know, yeah, I'm not very experienced when it comes to penises, uh, so I couldn't really tell you. By the way, I knew this before I'm asking it, but uh, you're related to Kronos? <laughs> We really knew about it. Oh, I'm really, really surprised that you knew about it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I, so surprised you knew about it, Bill. Who could have ever told you? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yes, it's true. So we've asked Kronos about uh, other people naming a style of music after his album. And mm -hmm. how, how do you personally feel about the name Black Metal Beaten taken from your family? <sighs> that was such an offense. I should like take all those people to court in the name of my family, really. I'm sure you've been asked to death about uh, why you decided to become a pirate metal yeah, band. Fuck that. Yeah, boring. well, <laughs> my question is, who can you relate to better, uh, Grace O'Malley or Anne Bonny? Who the hell are these people? Oh, come on, they're from your country, they're pirates. <laughs> from my country? Yes. What one's that? Actually, I think one's Irish. Scotland. What are the names? Grace O'Malley. <laughs> Grace O'Malley and Anne Bonny. They sound like women, are they, they pirates? They were, yes, and they were pirates. <laughs> um, hot. Hot yeah. pirates. Actually, Anne Bonny was supposed to be pretty hot. Righteous babe. Yes, very righteous babe. So who do you think, if, if you knew? 
of these girls. Uh, Who do you think would you really? Bode, did you say? Yeah, Sorry. and actually uh, one, let's see, Grosa Valley stabbed a servant girl when she was 13, and uh, oh, Bonnie, I'm sorry, oh, and Bonnie. Bonnie. I think they said like, Bonnie. Yes, Bonnie. Bonnie. <laughs> she stabbed yeah. um, a servant girl when she was 13, mm -hmm. and then uh, Grace O'Malley actually um, gathered like 200 pirates to follow her, and she like was getting dudes left and right, so would it be Grace O'Malley? Yeah, I love yeah. getting yeah, dudes. You get dudes left and right, don't you? I have to fight You have to fight them off and tour. My name is Layla. Hello, Layla. My name is Gutler. Hello. Yes. Uh, for it's my Gutler, Gutler. Shut up. Because <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to call you brutal, brutal. Yeah, I that's, did. A, that's my way. Do, would ever, would ever anyone, especially an American, ever call you brutal, brutal? As that's like a actually uh, one of my nicknames. In yeah, America. really? Yeah, yeah. It yeah. is. It's, See, it's I knew it. I knew it. It's Bill. been for fifteen years. Fifteen oh. years. Brutal, brutal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I knew it. That's uh, why at first I'm like, is it brutal? No, it's Gutler. It's so brutal, brutal, and anvil actually. What? Because one of the <laughs> one of the guys in the crew of Mob and Angel, they thought I looked like a wrestler called Anvil. <laughs> that's. Um... I was like, yeah, well, yeah, whatever, man. I'm Anvil. Yeah, no, cool. that's it. Cool. So I'll just call you Anvil for the rest of this. No, so you find... no, 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 okay. Anvil. 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 Anvil? No. <laughs> How did you meet your band members? How did you meet your band members? Let's just make believe that Enthroned copied the style from Norway. Mm -hmm. Would you like to pretend? It's a game of pretend. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you are betraying the Dutch? Because the people in your area were not, they not attacked by the Vikings in history? Um, I should do the word. And we made a song about it. <laughs> Take that in your face. <laughs> Me were the ones who pushed you behind. Put you back where you came from in your fjords.
I learned from Polish people that their stupid jokes are about Russians being stupid. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the reason why I ask you is, what do you also say Polish jokes the way Americans do? That they make fun of them? Ab about Americans or about Polish? Uh, well, what? Who are the stupid people in Russia when you make a joke like he is so stupid? In the uh, ah, не не какие национальности вы называем тупыми в России? Русских американцев. Русских американцев. Я я. Russian Americans. Some Americans that might have been familiar with Dima Burger for a long time been like, okay, you. Did you say Dima Burger? Ah, Dima Burger. Burger. Ah. 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 No no no. I didn't say that. Just. That didn't happen. Burger, baby. Which Voivod song is the most uh, Nazi? Damn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, music shouldn't really have uh, uh, politics to it, but has Voivod ever had politics? Social messages, yeah, I guess. More like social issues. Uh, National social? To go along with the classically trained, are you classically potty trained? <laughs> classically potty trained. Let's see. No, no. I pee in bottles in the van. In fact, there's like the boys in the van. Um, my drummer makes a stop, and I don't. I actually have this funnel called the Go Girl. Oh, have you heard of this? Yes. Yeah. I've been hoping for that. Oh my God! I gotta I get, get sponsors. Is that the, the one they could fold up and put yes. in your purse? And it's oh, purple. Perfect. And perfect. And it's it's great. So. Nice. Gatorade bottles are a must save. Anybody throws them out, I, f I flip a shit. So it's like, do not throw out my Gatorade bottles or my big jugs of water because the Go Girl is perfect. So we're on the road and I, I can pee easily in any bottle as long as it's, you know, Gatorade size. Okay. I've done the smaller ones and sometimes, you know. Does it help you fit in more with the guys being around? Yeah, in fact, like... sometimes I'll pull over really late at night and I'll stand up against the van and I'll have mine and I'll, I'll feel oh, That's bad. great, because I've always, like, I tried to write my name in the snow once. It didn't work very no, well. No, you got to get the go girl. Yeah. You know? Dimmer Bulger is, is, uh, is actually written in one word, originally. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a mountain on Iceland. It, oh, right. it, 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 it means a dark castle. Then it must be rumored. It's, it's written it's Dimmer Bulger. It's a volcanic mountain, right? Uh, unless I mean, Iceland, Iceland is volcanic. Everything yeah, in Iceland yeah. is volcanic. Do you think one day Dimmer Bulger will destroy the world? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. This is very no. interesting. <laughs> this is etymology. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, it's actually not an active volcano. Uh, where what if it suddenly became active? I mean, I know that Iceland had a problem recently. Yeah, I mean, the, all, know? all the big volcanoes on Iceland are in the south well, of Iceland. Dimmer Bulger is in the north. But Iceland is... Well, why are we talking about this? I'm well, sorry, we were supposed to... Let's... Go to enslave, but I first must clear up. If you could just uh, affirm or deny that you know the true meaning of Dimu Burger and that it is actually not the name of any volcano, because Americans have not found that in any kind of uh, atlas. It is it not really a volcano. Is the sound that Norwegian cows make. They go Dimu, <laughs> and you make burgers out of them. Here's where journalism gets ugly. Yeah. Is it true that you are no longer in merciful fate? Uh, Never will be. Uh, no, no. I mean, I haven't. Nobody's fired me, at least. So, but I don't know what's going to happen. Like, if anything else happens, are they going to go back to, you know, original lineup? Timmy being, I wouldn't mind that because you know I've never got to see the original lineup, so I would be all about that. <laughs> I would be front row. Uh, if anything happens, you know, and they ask me, I would definitely do it. If I wasn't out with Arch Enemy. Uh, so yeah, so, but this is all of this is just guessing on my part. I have no idea because I haven't really talked to any of them in a long while. So well, I really should be the first one to tell you then. Sometimes when you run your mouth, yeah, you don't really know who listens. Yeah, and one night you were referring to yourself as Prince Diamond, and the king really didn't appreciate that. Is that true or I had no? <laughs> I Do you ever remember referring to yourself as Prince Diamond? No. Well, I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> Did you ever dress up as King Diamond for Halloween? Or do no. you have th that in Sweden? We don't have Halloween as such. It's, it's more of an important thing, imported thing. Um, but no, so I've never actually dressed up for Halloween ever. So the answer would be no. Has anyone ever come to you with a Charlie D'Angelo costume for Halloween? No, no. Are you worried anyway about global warming and how Holland will be underwater? 
Oh yeah, all under the water would be nice. <laughs> I have a question. Have either of you watched the original Star Trek? The old well, like Captain Kirk and yeah. shit. Yeah. And when the laser, when the laser hit the ship, the camera tilted and everybody tilted one way. Yeah. Uh, pretend that you're on a pirate vessel and she's a blast. I'm gonna move the camera to make people see. So you can just pretend you're. On <laughs> Ahoy there, wench! Yar, let's plunder some booty and drink some rum. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> you know, that's that's actually um. No, you're talking about. I'm that. a very awful actress. Talking I, I, about this is yeah. clearly, clearly, I have not gone to acting school. Actually, talking about that Keel Hall video, that is exactly how it was done. Really? Seriously, so, the, you got the, it. The, the, the cameraman was just doing this. I was like, it's so cheap. <laughs> but it came out really well. Yeah. In entertainment, is it very hard for an artist to speak his mind? Do they censor a lot of? No, not in Germany. Oh no, 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 no. no of course they do. Um. Yeah, they tried to do that with, with, with me once uh, because they thought, they, 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 you know, when you have like violent lyrics, yeah. that's a problem. So you're not allowed to wear a swastika? I'm not, I'm not allowed to wear any swastikas. But yeah, we have some plans on doing like one show with a huge orchestra, so uh, the, that is going to be like a dream come true for us, so that's going to be great. Maybe you could save money by doing a tour with Therian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's not uh, big enough orchestra, I see that. <laughs> Or Epica. <laughs> yeah, Apocalyptica or something. Can you tell me where my country lies? <laughs> do you have to do anything to take care of your voice on tour since it's such a long tour that you've been on? У меня бывают проблемы с моим голосом в туре. Очень часто последнее время, к сожалению. Я имею некоторые препараты для того, чтобы, например, если у меня голос сломался, чтобы его восстановить. So yes, um, sometimes now she has problems with voice on tour because we have a lot of shows one by one. But uh, she has some medicine with her to recover uh, like the voice very fast for the oh, okay. show. So, but we use it only in some special cases. Steroids? Steroids, yeah. <laughs> How, you know? How you know? Yeah. <laughs>
a burger joint called Dimu Burger. Yeah, that you actually know, exists so. them. Yeah, it does. Yeah, cool, man. Is it good burger, sir? I don't know. I mean, is it, it's is not... it like uh, the lettuce with the pentagram and stuff? Ah, uh, The maybe. ketchup uh, in the pentagram? <laughs> you... They put the gay in anyway. It's called the gay lick because it's for licking a man's bum with. You're a prog band from Norway. We've discussed this already. But, well. Oh, okay. Pro okay, black oh. metal prog. Can, black you, can you go metal. with that? Black metal prog? Black, black metal. prog? Blackened prog? Come on, do you want to come up with a new genre for yourself right no, now? No, I don't come up with no. genres. I just uh, and I never claim to be a black metal well, band. You have to smack her. I mean, yeah, I, I, you can hit for, me. For, for, for us, <laughs> it's in, fine. For, <laughs> I don't hit women, you know. Oh. Have you ever been quoted as saying that you love your good and plenty? Uh, I wouldn't know. Have I? Well, in America, there is a commercial that's probably capitalizing upon your fame. That says Charlie says, "Love my good and plenty," but you don't really speak in that grammatically incorrect way, do you? Usually not, no. So if someone were to offer you lots of money to speak in a grammatically incorrect sentence, but it, it would depends on if 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 you're talking about the candy or <laughs> if you're talking about. Uh, how do you feel about the candy? I actually like that. I mean, I haven't had it in a long time, but it, yeah, I, I do enjoy that one. Yeah. All right. For the sake of posterity, I will say Charlie says, and then you say, love my good and plenty. No. <laughs> no, really? No, no, no. Let me just no, try not, not unless they pay me. Let me try my version then. Okay. And if you're inclined to participate, then you can. Yeah. Charlie says. All right, that was good. Black metalers from Norway stole the idea of bullet belts from the Mexican banditos. Somehow that became uh, but I, I wonder why the Dutch black metal bands never came on stage with wooden shoes. I don't know, ask them. I'm not, we're not from Holland, so we'll be usually Oh, what, which country are you from? Uh, oh! Oh my god! Sorry! Well, so first, you didn't oh know about half of the biography oh of the band. You call yourself an interviewer. <laughs> so, He's a fake. Everyone seems to have a bad word for Russians. Everyone hates the Russians, so do you have a problem that if you go to a country like Finland, do people say bad things to you? No, он говорит, вот вы сейчас едете с Карпиклади, говорит, и в каждой стране типа это самое, кто все не любят русских, это самое. Бывало такое, что вам говорили что-то плохое? Спорный вопрос, еще кто кого не любит в этом автобусе? Yeah, yeah. Never was like that. Never. So, but we don't like someone too. Okay. So, do you have any names for? Bad names for certain people from Finland. Uh, like, is there a fat, is there, is there a fat bass player from a, a Finnish band that you call Snaka? У нас есть какие-то клички плохие для да вот например толстый басист финов которого мы называем Срака. Мы зовем его немножко. Нет. Да 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 да. Видишь, это you look beautiful, but there's a rumor that you were once a man. <laughs> that your transformation into the present man. I love these rumors. But, I'm standing but, very close to her. If she was a man before, she, somebody's got good work. Well, Serious. Well, is, uh, I want his number. <laughs> I love that the man river came. Yes, finally. This is cool. Like but, Lady Gaga has it, yeah, and now yeah. I have it. This means you I need think, to wear a skirt on stage. I think I might be famous now. <laughs> but, but the reason why I ask that is that uh, you were involved in other projects before. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if when you were a man you were called Hunter and the He's making this up. when the Hunter becomes the Huntress. You're a big nerd. I heard that there was a, a movie you were going to sue that was made in America, but it was already in production in Canada about one of your members. It was called Snake on a Plane. <laughs> and it, uh, some of the funniest things you've ever encountered while playing. Oh. Uh, mm, let me think. Well, I'm uh, thinking, let me ask, uh, have you ever been asked a stupid question? <laughs> <laughs> Are you the master composer of Tyr? I suppose I made the most of it, yes, but, but not everything. It's all a lie. <laughs> <laughs>
And I uh, just watched that you sometimes get into Gunner's light. Oh. You know, and, <laughs> and all that time on his hairdo. <laughs> Could I also point out that I don't make all I don't make the vocal lines or, or I don't make the melody lines. It's it's mostly traditional music. Really? Yeah. So uh, hearing a tear song or a toyish is uh, hearing a piece of your culture. Yeah, some some Scandinavian at least. All right. Um, Didn't you practice? No. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you have permission to smack her. Oh. Uh, really? Yeah. Have you ever been tempted in Primordial to either <coughs> river dance or to have bagpipes? River dance. <laughs> in the beginning, one of the reasons that, uh, I was turned off from black metal is it seemed that the bands were known for their stories rather than their music. How did <coughs> into this? Did you burn down churches or uh, windmills? <laughs> we are not Dutch. Were you proud of the movie 300? Uh, I'm proud of being Greek, but uh, I'm not proud for this movie. You, you know, I'm not saying that uh, it's it's um, it's true that it it happened like this, but it didn't happen exactly like this. You know, uh, you know, Ephialtes wasn't like a hunchback. You know, uh, Leonidas he wasn't young. He was old, but he was really clever, and he had uh, this, this strategy that made everything, you know, happen in Thermopolis. I, in Thermopolis. Americans learned that <coughs> Athens was the area where poets and uh, I guess it was a place of learning. But Sparta was where the soldiers came from, where these strong people came. But. Uh, yeah. There was a Greek person, I forgot who it was, he laughed when he saw 300 because he said that the movie made the Spartans look so muscular. Is that a joke just that only a Greek could understand? Uh, Is there a special feeling about Spartans? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I, I think that your friend uh, said, said this because uh, I, don't, I don't think, as I told you, Leonidas, he wasn't like this. He wasn't, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. <laughs> he wasn't like this. <laughs> okay. He was um, older really old and uh, he had uh, the mind he was a mind he had the strategy to do all this so that's how he he made this um, uh, with 300 people you know well this achievement what that made me think about was in the old Greece it had city-states and they were different from each other it wasn't oh, yeah. one country yes so I wonder if in modern Greece there's still, I don't know if the word to use is prejudice, but yes, I do understand the Athenians feel differently towards Spartans? Yeah, no, 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 no. This is not anymore. No, this, no, no. It's not anymore. All right. This was on the, in, in the old days, maybe, okay. but n not anymore.
you guys still have veto power like you might put on a costume and be like look this just looks gay i don't want to wear this like I it's mean, just like, like awful this, when we first started talking about white we were like no that's gay you know? yeah so um, is ronald mcdonald scottish or irish i think he's from like you know alabama or something <laughs> yeah it's from uh, well, backwoods back country <laughs> or part of the country okay so we should have different colors in the red and white I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> I mean, is there a lot of McDonald's in Scotland? Yeah, loads. I'm sorry. There's, there's actually probably more McDonald's in Scotland than there is in America. But like, I mean, you walk the streets here, you, you see like, you know, fucking loads of crazy shit. Like, you know, Wendy's, Arby's, you know, Jack in the Box. Oh, we in, have all, all different. In, 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 choose from. KFC. In, in Scotland, it's just McDonald's. There, there is there is no kind of culture of fast food restaurants. It's just McDonald's and that's it. Does the clown wear a kilt and play bagpipes? Could you lift up one of your hands? And can you make a sort of puppet of it? You know, talking like that? And um, I don't want to take credit for this question, but being that I'm not really a journalist, I'm more of an asshole, a metal mm. asshole. Mm. Uh, could you have that hands journalist ask you a question that is really important to answer for this interview. Because I don't think we've really covered anything at all musically other than your personal taste. Uh, um, uh, for instance, uh, hello. Hello. What are your influences? Have you ever been asked that question before? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I, you know what? I, I think we should fire that guy. All right. Yeah. Uh, is your hand better? No, I no. think I, I think we just let's just go with normal sibabisms. We, if we ever play in Germany, yeah, yeah sometimes. Uh, so there was never old hatred between the countries. The young people Nikada, don't have Nikada, us. Nikada, 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 which for sure have uh, some hate to Russian people because of... <laughs> okay, how about this? You're just a metal, progre uh, progressive metal band from Norway. I mean, what, you what is progressive? What, what is prog? Tell me, what do you think prog is? Communist. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to be nice to the Germans by having a swastika on your van. <laughs> Вы хотите оказаться красивыми немцами, нарисовав свастику на автобусе? Отлично. Have you now or have you ever been a no. Are you familiar with the great cat? The great cat. No. No. Uh-uh. Alright, Miss Melissa came up with that, by the way. You know, this is the thing, it's like, you know, I, I am so removed from reality. I have people that mention, you know, other female metal singers. I have no fucking clue. I really I come from an opera background, and I'm very specific about my influences, so enlighten me. Right, sure. Actually, that we you would have to ask well, this kid why, over here. Why was the song being Schlafengain removed from the notes? Is that Schlafengain? It was Strauss. You said opera. No, well, oh. <laughs> schlafen, well, I think I know what that means. I can see why that would be removed. Um, th no, I don't know the great, oh, the great cat. Is that a weird gay hey, opera sing singer? No, no, uh, she's a New Yorker, but she sings sort of uh, in that same hoarse, sort of thrashy voice. Ah, I don't know, I've got to discover. You've enlightened me. Beethoven on speed. Beethoven. Yeah, she, she, I would say it would be in comparison to progressive bands from the 70s, and you do share a similar sound with them. Yeah, but if you, if you copy bands from the 70s, that's not progressive, that's regressive. Oh, yeah, it's progressive. Smacker! Yeah. If you could be a superhero, <laughs> what would you rather have as your superpower? The ability to piss out green slime or fart blue toxic smoke? Uh, this, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think the. <laughs> I don't know why I should have one of those, but if I had to, for some reason, have to choose, I would take the green slime because it looks cooler, I guess. Do you have to change some of your European concepts to fit the American audience? Not to fit me. 
Like, uh, you have the metric system, so oh. over in Belgium you have pentagrams, but in America we have penta Pentag ounces. No, we have pentagons. We have pentagons. Is there just something in the genetics of your people that allows you to drink every day and still play? Um... He comes from uh, a very small place, yeah. so all they have to do, you know, they... There's nothing to do there except to be a lonely place, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's vodka that is your drink of choice. So yeah. If someone gave you a bottle of whiskey, you would. I, I would drink that also, but. Yeah. <laughs> Could I have some? Maybe. No. <laughs> so, what do you think? Uh, I guess in America, we have the flavored vodkas where they actually have bottles of flavored vodka. That's for little girls. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back to the pain of the Irish people. Have you ever written a song about the Irish curse? What's the Irish curse? Uh, in America, Irish men who have very small uh, sexual organs, they refer to it as the Irish curse. I was wondering if there's any truth to that. Does it only happen <laughs> as a punishment to people who emigrated out of Ireland on the coffin ships? Oh, oh you mean, uh, so the, evo the punishment evolved? Over generations. I don't know. I, I don't uh, know if it's just a, a joke that only Irish Americans are able to say about their own sexual organs. Oh, so you're suggesting that Americans get irony? Then is that what you're trying to suggest at the same time? I just, <laughs> I, I know from speaking to you earlier that many of the Irish isms that Americans think are Irish are actually manufactured in America. Oh, absolutely. Oh, ne nearly There's all no Lucky Charms in Ireland. There's no, there's no Irish not. Spring. Nearly all of them. I mean, even when we go to the Went to the bar earlier and it's like Killian's Irish Red. I never heard of that, you know? They have a drink called the Black and Tans. Uh, black and Tans something, and you know? the Black and Tans were almost like the brutal uh, <laughs> army uh, ar um, fuck, of the English in Ireland who just fucking repressed and beat and fucking killed Irish people. So it's right. like an anti-Irish thing, but they have a drink called that, I mean, you know, it's just a name plucked out of a book. But, but no, yeah. nearly all of them don't exist in Ireland. We don't have any comprehension. We have like about five big whiskies. You go to Italy, there's like 25 Irish whiskies. You know, Dermot Kilbegan's Irish whiskey from blah, blah, blah. And you look at the back, it's brewed in fucking Slovakia or something, you know. As far as you know, uh, Irish men do not have any s smaller length <laughs> than other ethnicities right uh, as far as I know but you know we have to have some sort of measuring process by which to do these things but I don't know that's not a rumor I've heard before you know well according to fractal geometry fractal the smaller the measuring unit uh, the larger the length <laughs> so if you measure your penis with a yardstick it'll be small but right I'll tell you what we could ask Villa Villa ah, do you think that Finnish men have smaller penises than Irish men. What would your be opinion on that? After seeing yours, I wouldn't agree.
Shagra's costume in particular, instead of like, it was sort of like a horned skull thing going on here, but instead of uh, goat horns, which it looked like, it was octopus tentacles. It's like the cover, the old cover. Yeah, 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 like, why uh, why the tentacles? It was on the cover, it was on his head, is there I like a I don't know about the tentacles really, thing, you know, it's just you know? the ID from the yeah. creator that made it, so. Yeah, you just, you, there's no like big fan but, of uh, octopus. Again, you know, the horns have been done and the octopus horn has never been done, so. That's true. Again, it's about being new, you know. That's I thought it was true. a squid horn. Maybe it's a squid, <laughs> there's a yeah, large squid. No, it would have to be an octopus. I mean, squids are sort of more long whereas octopuses are sort of more voluminous and I just think that it was an octopus horn. That's my professional opinion. Well, squid or octopus is <laughs> just the same thing. Anyways, Tentacle so. with suction cups. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So. Horns with the uh, suction cups. Yeah, so sorry. Yes. They have eight legs but only one sexual organ. Really? Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought there would be one between each leg but it's <laughs> not true. Have you ever done a commercial for freecreditreport.com? No, but I'd love to. <laughs> the, the old hatred of uh, Swedes against Germans, your national mm. hatred of them. Was there ever a hatred like that? I am just... Because see, we were never invited, well, it, uh, invaded, I meant to say. We were never invaded by them. Uh, I heard that you just let them walk through and exactly, do whatever they wanted. Exactly, exactly. That's, that, that's, that's how we roll. Isn't that sort of compliance? Yeah. Like if you let someone kill others, you're guilty too, no? Uh, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> good, good stuff, isn't it? We, you know, we, we really stood up for what we believed in back then. Satanism comes up. I know uh, you have satanic overtones in your work. Paint me a picture of your Satan, if you will, because I know that every Satanist has very different, very varying beliefs, you know? I feel mm. as though if you put a lot of them in a room together, they'd probably just like, get in a big fight. No, like, Satanism is like the most individualistic uh, kind of philosophy, if you want, like you said. Shut up! And then... Um, <laughs> they don't like Satan! No, they want you fuck to, you! They want you to go with Jesus. No, they're responding to the bumper stick that says honk if you like Satan. <laughs> No, my cons, my vision to make it short because it's really complex. Oh, size doesn't matter. That's how you use it. Mm. Like that's the excuse of people who have a small penis, Mister. He does. I know. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's a more interesting question. Why don't you ask him about that? What? About the size of his. Would you say that you're average or small, large, maybe <laughs> Belgian? No, I'm not Bel no, not Belgian because I'm half English. So it would be like um, it would look like a roast beef with French fries around it. You stand very close together. Sure, sure. Right, so you're not you're not <laughs> typical. You can actually do that comfortably, and you're both sharing yes. the attention. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> could you each give a compliment to the other one? Oh sure. Sure. I already said yeah. that you're green eyes were witchy and beautiful and it's very rare that you meet anyone these days with beautiful natural green eyes that was the first thing that struck me about you yeah hair and the first thing that always strikes me is teeth I don't know why oh. it's so strange right. <laughs> yeah beautiful teeth thank you thank you very much uh, who's the prettiest one she is for sure no, no. Ah, right. no. <laughs> definitely this definitely one here <laughs> right. she's tall and she's skinny and she's got blonde hair, blonde hair and blue eyes I want dark hair blonde. I really so do. We can switch. That, you, yeah. you and, uh, uh, I I don't Jeffrey ever sister. I don't ever feel uh, any competition with women ever. I don't. I just never do. I grew up in a really big family. I've always wanted to support women and and you know be nice. I mean we're all nuts, so I feel that we have something in common. We're all fucking crazy. You guys crazy. make us that way. FYI. <laughs> yes. <laughs> death breath. Yeah. I don't think she has death breath at all. So what is better, Finnish vodka or Russian vodka? That's just a joke. We never drink Finland, but uh, for sure, for sure Russian. Ah, what is that? vodka. Do you think that it's vodka? It's uh, have brown color, so vodka. <laughs> All right. Uh, but it's just that every time I interview a, a folk metal band from Finland, they're always drunk, and you seem to not be drunk. Why? Because you play good music? <laughs> yes, because we play much better music. Too. 
I wanted to know if you think that Enslaved could simply walk into Mordor. If Enslaved could walk into Mordor? Yes, yeah, simply walk into Mordor, because they stay in the movie. You cannot simply walk in there, but do you think that Enslaved has enough brutality or enough other qualities that Mordor would welcome them with open arms? Well, actually, I think because... Uh, have you met our drummer? <laughs> no. Oh. But, uh, he's, the, he's the most crazy guy in the world, so he <laughs> probably just like be being a... Uh, being an icebreaker, just ah, to tell them bad jokes. Okay. It looks, it looks like an orc already. So. Oh, good, good, good. So you're you you just like, <laughs> you wouldn't be against pretending to be an orc then. You can just That's like you I know mean. crack a few <laughs> jokes about uh, gay orcs or something like yeah, that, yeah. and then we just get yeah, to just yeah. sneak behind him. No, I hear Sauron. And run to the mountain of doom and cast oh. ring into yeah. the fires. I mean, I hear Sauron's so. a pretty like nice guy once you get talking to him and whatnot. Yeah. So. I noticed that your lyrics don't really have the word baby in them. Maybe. <laughs> you mean like... <laughs> I love you, baby? Yeah. No. Uh, do you think that would help record sales if you had songs like that? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the heathen hammer high, baby. <laughs> when we were hanging out at a bar one night, um, yeah. you played some songs on the jukebox, and you sang along to them. Mm -hmm. You hit every note dead on. <laughs> uh, did you have such uncanny pitch recognition early in life? Or is it something that you cultivated through ear training? A weird question. <laughs> um, no, we. I don't know. I. I never thought of myself as a particularly good singer. I'm, I'm, I think I'm a better lyricist than a good singer, but I'm okay. I mean, but yeah. I mean, I sang in covers bands, doing Priest and Maiden and a bit of sax and whatever. But uh, you nailed Judas Priest note for note. Not something <laughs> everybody can do. It must be an old Judas Priest. Uh, yeah. No, I don't know. I. I don't know. It must be in the whiskey. You know? <laughs> um, but it, it just seems that the people who have the good ear later develop the great voice um yeah it's you you can't train you can't train yourself to sing in key if you can hear you can hear if you can't hear you'll never hear i mean i know people have been trying to sing for 10 years and no matter what they do they can't manage to pitch their voice to the acoustic guitar but within primordial we're all quite lucky to be reasonably gifted that every one of us can hear what the next note should be, what the harmony should be, what where this should go and if as soon as a single thing is out of tune in the room, it, oh everyone stops, we all know and I suppose we're kind of lucky like that, most bands I don't know, I don't think have everyone who knows that instantly you just hear the, the resonance, they hear the sound I'm not the most musically gifted of the band by any means but after 18 years if you can't hear when something is in or out you should really fucking quit <laughs> You know, I still blame the whiskey, but okay. I've got to say, uh, Rock Hard Magazine, uh, I guess had some sort of festival and Primordial played, and a song from that live show <coughs> appeared on one of the Rock Hard uh, compilation CDs that come with the magazine. Yeah. Uh, Rock Hard is a magazine in Germany for people who don't know. It's the biggest metal magazine in the world. And when I heard Coffin Ships yeah. on, that song, uh, on that CD, I actually had to stop driving because I couldn't believe how intense that was. Yeah. I think it blew away the studio version. I was wondering if there's any chance that that might become available to fans. I, I think you owe it to them for them to hear that. That whole of that show is actually a bonus disc, but it's only on the European release of the book of the last album, um, which I don't think was available in North America.
some people might say like, oh, well, like, do you know right now they're a sellout or they might like be, like, they might suck, like, etc., etc. What is a tongue goblet? Oh, the tongue goblet, right. Yeah, uh, uh, where is your roadie, by the way? <laughs> oh shit, you need to ask him, but he's, uh, selling, he's selling merch right now. But uh, anyway, yeah, the tongue goblet, you know, it's this tradition, you know, when you get on a tour bus, if it's, if it's your first time on the bus, you have to run the tongue gauntlet. Like, you have, it's inside a tour bus, it's like just like rows and rows of bunks. Right. What you do is everyone lies in their bunks and sticks their tongue out, and then you have to run down naked. Th then we're talking about your particular size. Yeah. We're actually. It's <laughs> true, what they said. The size of what? What? Thing. Of your schlong. That certain part of the male body. Oh. It's normal. Is it normal? I mean, I know that the I, two I of know. you know. No, like, no, 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 yeah, I didn't no. see it. I didn't see it. I don't want to see it. Uh, Size doesn't matter. What about, like, if you're really drunk and, you know, like, using the bathroom, maybe he, like, went to sleep without clothes on? Uh, wait, before uh, asking them, ask him what his favorite badva is. <laughs> badva? <laughs> yeah, ask him what What's his favorite. What's a badva? What's your favorite badva? Badva. 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 Badva? You, different badva? word for color? I don't know. I was just... А, барва! Какой твой любимый цвет? Желтый, конечно. Конечно, желтый. Yellow. Yellow. Я обожаю желтый цвет. Remove image, Mutei. It was just so he could be in the interview. Мы просто сказали, что ты будешь в интервью участвовать, а не то, что я ответил. Да ничего, ничего. And tell me about these nails of yours, actually. They're, they're quite cat-like. Oh, yeah, these are my whore claws. Great cat. Great cat! Ah. Have you ever had any problems getting your weird instruments working in the frozen wasteland is Norway? Like when you climb up into the mountains and look upon the fjords to compose your lyrics and your music, do you think, where am I going to plug in my Mellotron? They're actually pronounced fjords. Sometimes when bands do a cover of a song, they do exactly the same. But the more interesting bands, they change it somewhat to, to yes. make it your mm -hmm. own. Uh, are you familiar with the Melissa album of Merciful Fate? No. No? Yeah, some songs. Well, uh, perhaps you would know this. Uh, can you talk the rest of the guys into maybe doing a cover of Curse of the Faroe Islands? A cover of? Curse of the Faroe Islands. Curse of the Faroe Islands. <laughs> I don't know that song. I'll try. <laughs> it's on Melissa. Album. Yeah, I don't know. But where exactly are the Faroe Islands? Are they on the Nile River? They are <laughs> located between Iceland and Scotland, right in the middle. And it's not. It's eighteen islands, not just one. All right. So I'm a little bit confused. Uh, the connection between Egypt and and the Nords. Were the Pharaohs born on the Faroe Islands? The Faroe, buried, buried there. The Faroe, the Faroe Islands means the sheep islands. It's nothing to do with Faroe. Greece in the ancient world yes. was advanced beyond everybody. Yes. But in the modern world, what happened along the way? What do you think? Uh, I don't know. We were in this level, and we just stayed there. Let's say <laughs> it was like this, and everybody was going up, and we, were, we just stayed in one place. Well, somebody told me that maybe because the early Greeks were so intelligent, intelligent people don't really want to conquer other people so much. It sounds sophisticated, but I don't know if it's like <laughs> this. <laughs> it seems that your lyrics have a suspicious absence of leprechauns. <laughs> Is it because Irish people are forbidden to speak of those creatures? Yeah, we're not allowed. It's, it's, it's just a myth that we attempt to perpetrate uh, to lure stupid Americans over to spend their fucking dollars in cheap cheap and tacky fucking gift shops, you know. And I actually have been asked by American tourists where you might possibly find leprechauns. Have you ever kissed the Blarney Stone? There, yeah, the Blarney Stone does actually exist. I know, but, people, but I heard that people Irish, piss on Irish it. natives urinate on it. Yeah, they piss on it, yeah. <laughs> because of that very <laughs> reason. They, yeah, I mean, you'll be arrested, but they piss on the Blarney Stone because it. of what it... So that it's like the heart of Lothian when you go to Scotland and Edinburgh, anybody who's anti-English spits on the heart. So. Have you ever recorded vocals on a, I'm sorry, has someone else ever recorded vocals on a Creator album, but you still wrote that you did the vocals? <laughs> what should that have been? Because <laughs> uh, I heard of an artist doing that called Billy, and the only 
<laughs> that joke's been so. <laughs> man, that's like been done in the 80s already. I heard that Quebecians maybe hate Anglo Canadians. What, what is this? Well, that's the whole uh, the whole uh, dilemma of, of a Canadian and Quebecer. Um, if you really want to go through that, <laughs> it's gonna take a long time. <laughs> but. Um, it's just a matter of you know getting um, respected and all that, and it's because at one point we were about to separate from the rest of Canada. We were that close. We're just at the very limit, half and half, and uh, you know, and it's always been a sort of not a war, but um, we call it uh, the two solitudes. And in Canada, it's like the English and uh, the French, and uh, of course, it's 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 totally different cultures, you know. And uh, and they have somehow the federal government has to acknowledge that there is a different society in Quebec than in Alberta, but they don't want to do that. They want it, so it it's just put more oil on the fire when they they say no, we don't want to do it. So it's, a, it's an old war there. And, well, know. when America invades Canada, Anglo and Franco will unite. <laughs> yeah, well. There are many, many women who are very obsessed with you. Many King Diamond Rescue fans who love you. I know it's true because I know a few of myself. And uh, how do you feel about this? And do you get approached by I wish I'd known earlier. <laughs> I have, um, Maybe a I have a friend who went to see your band last night and she said that she pointed to her tattoo of your face on her arm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember. So, yeah. so there's, yeah. one, there's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Like, I would think, does it freak like you see, out? I wish I'd known. <laughs> would it be nice? She's probably here tonight, so. <laughs> are, you, are you flattered or? How do you feel about it? Well, that's totally old fucking cool, of course. Yeah. I mean, like, it's like, you, you don't expect that many women at the type of shows we have. For, I don't know yeah. why, it's just kind of like a feeling you have, you know? Yeah. But when you think about it, you do see quite a few, actually. Yes. Which, and it's a little bit surprising sometimes, you know, and it's like a front row, man. Like, yeah. like, willing to get squashed and, yeah. I mean, into it big time, you know, and, you know, you can't say that's because they have the hearts for somebody, but I mean, like, they're into the band. Yeah. I know that, you know, and uh, that is surprising, cool to see, and it's surprising to see how many really young people are coming to the shows, you know, uh, it's a whole new generation that's coming in there, which is, uh, the past two years I've noticed that a lot, you know, and it's, they know all the songs, even those that were really, uh, before they ever had their first tape or something like that, you know, so that, that's really cool to see, you know. And uh, do you get approached by you know what? I'm never around. You know that the, the, the way I, I don't, have, you don't have time to track you down. I see. The way I have to tour, right, is uh, <laughs> if the bus leaves at eight, get to the next city at two or three. I usually will go to bed right. and sleep till like maybe dinner comes. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and then I have to arrange all my shit, you know, all the makeup, shop, and whatever else needs to be done. You know, it takes a long time, and uh, usually I'm done like five minutes. Before or after the security comes to, to get me, you know, and then we go to the show. I come like this every night, you know, a few minutes before showtime, and then we go and do it, and then I split, go straight to the hotel. Because I'm so drenched this way that I have to try and get, get that shit off as quick as possible, you know, and it gets late before the, It takes an hour and a half to get all that shit done and the shower and all that stuff. For the boys, it's extremely important, and by that time when I'm done, it's three or four in the morning. Then I get another three or four hours of sleep, you know, and then the bus leaves. That's usually how it goes every day. So, to, to say bluntly, I touring, you know, uh, except for that hour and a half on stage, hour and 45, and I love it so much that it makes up for every, all the bullshit, it makes up all the bullshit. But I never see anybody, it's like, you know, might as well put me in prison. You know?
Um, may, may I ask a question? No. I just want one. It's not no. a question. Not no. So what made you decide to um, bring back the keytar, I have to ask? Well, um, I don't know, it was back when this band started, like, Hey guys, this would be, wouldn't it be funny if we had a keytar? Because, <laughs> you know, it was back when we started, it was all a big stupid joke, you know? <laughs> so then, um, yeah, I got this keytar, and we're like, actually, this is really cool, you know I mean? I can sing and party and rock out and pretend it's a huge dick, you know? Very nice. I'm actually planning on getting some, like, uh, some uh, spray cream attached to it and maybe some device where I can press a button and it spurts everywhere. That is a fantastic idea. Around. I hope Chicks you go and through dudes. <laughs> If you've ever thought about running for office in Germany. When you meet someone that knows things about your band, you know, some d <laughs> that does their homework. Yes. Not un unlike uh, some other people. What was uh, that again? Uh, the Grimoire of Exalted Deeds, uh, that, that, that guy there, like you... Oh, no. I was wearing horns even at one point, I think. Oh, yeah. He is an awful person, you know. I hear that he is not metal at all. It's just all a show, you know. He's like, you know, he's claiming all the time that he's like into death metal, death metal. But the more you brag about it, the the less it's credible, you know. What do you like to do as a bass player the most? Uh, play bass. <laughs> do you work on hip movements and such? In front of a mirror? Uh, like uh, well, I don't really do it in front of a mirror anymore because, like, you know, I've lost it. I think I sort of got it down by now. But uh, what is it? Is it the love of the sound? Is it the love of uh, using your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. It's good to be interviewed by you again, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. No, uh, you know, I, I, I just like playing bass. I like, well, I like playing in a band, I like playing good music. Uh, I just ended up playing bass. Uh, and I enjoy it because it sounds good to me. Did you ever cheat on your bass guitar and play another instrument? Yeah. What Lots of times. Uh, well, you know, the uh, six string version with the, the thinner little strings, that one. Uh, you know, and I've sort of like dabbled a little bit and played a little bit of drums here and there and put my. Uh, Put my finger on a keyboard once or twice. <laughs> Tinkle the ivories. Are you Moscow Russians? Yep. You are. Uh, the reason why I ask is, I have a friend who said that the Moscow Russians do not even say that they are Slavs, that they are better than Slavs. Is that true or? Москвичи говорят, что они даже не славяне, они даже лучше, чем славяне. Это правда или нет? Москвичи это пойми славяну с винограми. Что? Чего? Что ты сказал? Москвич — это помесь славяна с финаугром. Да, Москва — Russians — это просто citizens of Moscow. People who live in Moscow — not not nationality. But Moscow Russians do not like Ukrainians, I have been told. А вот do you mean Moscow Russians? Вот, is Russians Russians who live in Moscow or who who live in other Russian countries? I am just asking if yeah, yeah. there is a bad feeling. <laughs> to Ukrainians? Yeah. У тебя есть плохие чувства к украинцам? Только родственные. Only relatives. Okay. <laughs> Because I know that uh, Russia was originally Kievan Russia. А, он, uh, он знает, что изначально это была Киевская Русь. And, and mm, they да. invited the Swedish Vikings to rule. И они пригласили шведских викингов рулить, типа, королей шведских. Ну, хрен знает. Это, ну, да, скажу, да. это спорный вопрос. It's not for sure not proved by historics. Oh, okay. I was actually uh, personally surprised with the track uh, Ethica, uh, Ethica Odini, mm -hmm. uh, just because uh, it was a little bit more simplistic, not in a bad way, I'm not trying to trivialize oh. your musicianship, but also more simplistic and a little bit more repetitive than some of your songs had been in the past. You have been known to wear armor on stage. True. Yes. yes. And is that historical? Pharaoh's armor? No. Nope. No such thing. No, there is no such thing. There hasn't been dug up any armor in the Pharaoh's, not to my knowledge at least. Have you ever heard the term uh, bear sark? Yes. What does that mean? Possession? Uh, it means um, a, a guy who goes crazy in war without armor. And is that a Pharaoh's thing? <coughs> <coughs> 
Uh, well, every it's, Saturday. It's been, it's been hard enough. Every Saturday night, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because I was going to ask if maybe you you wear armor in America because of the censorship, but in Europe you go bear sark. The name Voivod comes from the book Dracula, and the Voivod character is based on Dracula, except that it, it's more in a sci-fi uh, context and post-apocalyptic world, um, and um, at. Uh, except for that, you know, um, except for being a survivor, uh, it's not that connected to the book at all. It's a brand new thing uh, that we uh, we developed. And uh, what are your influences? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it seems that your imagination is too active for you to be happy in a typical day job. Uh, have your studies and your interests made it difficult for you to be? Uh, able to fit into the role of an average working man? I never fit. I've, I never, I don't, I hardly ever had a job. I don't, I've always done this and that and the other thing to get by. And no, I, I, I feel completely confined by that nine to five world. I just can't resign myself to that. So whatever I can do to avoid it, I have done. So you live the life of a true artist? Well, I don't know, but a true artist, it's a bit of a misnomer. I Not don't know. compromising. Oh. Swallow sometimes. <laughs> um, no, I mean you live within your means. I don't, you know, the the, the collect, the accumulation of materialization is not something that really, you know, fucking drives me as a human being. I'm far more, far inter more interested in creating something that outlasts me, and living life to its fullest extent and seizing what comes for you every day you know it's your life is short you know and I'm not gonna spend most of those days sitting in a fucking office in your early days you mentioned to the press that you cursed man of war what was the reason for I've that? never mentioned that in any press that must be one of his little things man no I've heard that man of war you put a a spell they, they, of I, I destruction I, on them. I've heard that they thought I did that. Probably because they had very bad conscience about certain things they did too much on fate during the uh, tour in 83, you know. We played with them since, you know, in the same bill and actually right after each other and stuff. No problem with them at all. No hard feelings. No, never. I mean, like, uh, I don't walk around holding grudges to people. Uh, some people like that. Hate kiss this No, I don't hate kiss at all because of that little makeup uh, suit and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's, why waste good energy on, on walking around being mad at other people when it's a situation that's been solved and all this stuff? You know, there's no reason to it at all. At that time, it sucked a bit, you know, when it happened, but I mean, like, it was resolved so quick that it was. Who cares, you know?
very much for your answers. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I was really any... afraid of this one, but it was. Oh. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, well, thank you. I guess there's nothing else to add. Nah, nah, not really. I think we covered everything, and we've been anatomically and philosophically correct to whole, the whole interview. Was this surprising? You you probably expected interrogation today. Uh, well, you know, I think this was slightly interrogating, wasn't it? You're always intimidating. You can't ask Grudel Grudel to do other things! Okay. Anyway, but it was wonderful interviewing you, and I'm sorry that I just mispronounced your name, but it was for the sense of comedy. I know that it's Grutele, not Grutel. Do, do you so. like how she turns the interview into herself instead of you? She's very self-absorbed. I am not. Shouldn't be too hard on her, you know? Yeah, no, he's ah. very hard on me. Yeah, I yeah. was actually asking you very personal oh. questions. But I, <laughs> see, he'll hit you, but he won't hit me! You did yeah. the artwork for Nothing Face? Yeah? Do you remember at the time there were a lot of uh, people in the art community who said that computer art is not art? Oh, I got that like all through the 80s, because well, I started in the, like, I don't know, uh, 86, I think I bought the, an Amiga computer, and, um, and a lot of my friends told me it's not art and all that, and I kept t telling them, well, wait 20 years and you'll see, you know, uh, it's only going to be digital art. And now it's, you know, Illustrator, Photoshop, it's, uh, that's the, uh, the standard. But back then, yeah, I got that a lot, actually, especially from people uh, doing paintings, you know. Um, I think it's just yeah. a tool, you know, it's just another tool. Mm. It saves a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. You just, uh, you know, you delete and start over again instead of uh, painting over again. <laughs> the people who don't like the very fast black metal, they yeah. say that the drummers, uh, if, it, if they didn't have triggers, that they would be nothing. Yeah. Because they say that you can't play that fast and yeah. still hit hard. Yeah. So what is your... I don't use triggers. You so. Don't? I'm good. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so how do you play so fast and still hit hard? I use mics and I try to do my best, but um, I don't know, it's not cheating, it's nothing. Okay. It's, not, it's not cheating. Um, some drums, they use triggers also for the good quality of the sound, because if you hit hard and if you're not, it's the same sound, because it's a sample. That's what the triggers do. And um, I don't... I don't like to judge, you know, other drummers, but I believe that it's better to, you know, to have your own sound, what comes from your foot, to hear it directly, or what comes from your hand. So, uh, I know opinion. that this particular tour, there are many problems. Yeah. I think you lost your drum kit or something? Uh, no, 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 no. Everything went fine. Everything went <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if you were taken out of your drum kit and placed on another one... Yeah. Would that's you be how, uncomfortable? That's what I will do today. Yeah. I will play with uh, Satyricon's drums. Okay. So um, I think I, can, I will manage it. All right. I think I can handle it. So Really? <laughs> I hope so. I'm just wondering because it's not as easy <laughs> I as haven't, guitar. I, I haven't tested yet. Okay. I know, I know. It's like playing here. There's a story from your first American tour where your bus came stuck in the swamp and that when your uh, band members came back, they came back to huge spiders attacking. <laughs> well, see, the, well, it's kind of true, you know. Uh, those guys were, were were out checking out this. Uh, the boss had gone down on the axle in the back, you know. And uh, the two guys that went out when they came back in, they had a couple of big spiders sitting on their pants, you know. So they wiped them off and started closing the bus off. And when this guy came from uh, the rigger company, you know, uh, he told us that it was good. We hadn't explored the area. It was the middle of the night, you know, so it's pitch dark. He said it was a major gator area. So, yeah. I have, I have walked the path of death, and there is neither beach nor boy on that path. How do you know? Have you ever visited every region of death? <laughs> I've visited a lot more than you know. Oh my god. She's an explorer. <laughs> but, but really, um, <laughs> do you, that was a little bit interesting to see. Do you think that, I mean, maybe they don't, maybe that particular member might not have musical influence, but... Yeah, I know who you're talking about. It's the bass player. He's not there at the moment. I can say all the bullshit I want about you, fucker. So no one cares about the bass player. Sometimes. So actually, it's from the bass player. So who cares? Mm. He likes the Beach Boys. Mm. Really? Maybe you'll ever have any like Beach Boy like harmony influenced vocals on your next album? Yeah, we were thinking about posing with uh, painted surfs, but. 
that's really too much. Have you ever wondered why God, why, why can't I be a death metal vocalist or is the bassist the best person to be in a band? I'm, you know, I'm happy playing bass. I wish I could be an awesome death metal vocalist. I wish I could be like the new David Vinson, you know, mu musically I mean. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but, but, you know, I just don't have that kind of voice. I don't. I caught you. You didn't contradict me when I said, God, are you an atheist or were you just being polite and didn't want to... Just being polite. All right. So, would you like to share with people... I know you might lose fans if you admit that you don't embrace Jesus as your personal savior. Mm. Would you like to talk about that? How, how did you become a member of the path, the enlightened path? Uh, I've always, always been. I mean, I. it's like, you know, you believe in Santa Claus when you're a kid, but at some point... I still you, do. Yeah, you know, but that's you. Uh, and, you know, you find out that it's not true. So you had the oral tradition as well, so were things really lost forever, do you think? A lot of things were, there's no doubt about that. And um, it, it's not a thing specifically uh, pertaining to the north, it, it happens everywhere all the time. All, all things get lost, uh, traditions, and, and um, it's happened in, in the north as, as everywhere, no doubt about that. And, and uh, the um, spread of, of Christianity has especially uh, eradicated the past. I think actually it's one of the biggest cultural uh, vandals uh, ever, uh, the Catholic Church. It, you it know, changes from century to century. It, it, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. That's weird. Evolution, and they don't believe in evolution yet, their story changes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's always nice.
boring questions. I have tour questions. Okay, sure. And your first tour here at the Pagan Fest tour, mm -hmm. uh, your first time in the U.S. I know mm -hmm. you've been to Canada before, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Who cares about Canada? I know you like Canada. They're great crowd, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But what was, your first, what was your favorite American city? Think about it, everything. Food. <laughs> L.A. New York. I don't know. See, we didn't get to ask you about New York because New York was your last show and, you know, I read your blog and everything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was probably sold out and everything else, but I wanted to see what your reactions were to... I think L.A. or New York. They were like... Exciting? Cool. Big cities yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yep. And how is this... This tour is different because you have, you're playing in larger venues because you're playing with the Mon Amour. Yep. But the complaints are that you have technical problems and the stages are too small. Like <laughs> the venues are larger, but the stages are getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, and because there's Amon Amar stuff already on stage and we have to put our stuff in front of... they have a large of, drum set. Yeah, well that's not really a problem. Oh. It's I'm just whining all the time. It's such a pussy. equipment uh, bigger than Swedish equipment? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Okay, um, wow, he's confusing me with that thing. <laughs> that always... The way the hair deal though, upstairs, yeah. <laughs> Were you going to add extra tour dates after the, uh... <laughs> after? Did you want to put the camera down? No. First? Okay. Um... <laughs> You were supposed to announce like we're gonna add extra tour dates after the the Amon and Marth part of it. Uh yeah, yeah, that was planned to do like two weeks. <laughs> Maybe behind my ear. Did you scratch a bit? Uh, I got an itch here, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, but there was a plan to do like two weeks or something like that. But. We can't multitask. <laughs> But so I don't you know. you're going back to you're going to Russia or someplace like that. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. I'm overhearing all these other interviews. And now all my questions. Yes. We're going to Russia for two shows. All right, and you're writing your new album right now. You're yes. actually working on your new album. Yes. And and that's going well. Uh, yeah. And you're inspired. Of course. Are you Come inspired on. by the American landscape? <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, and um, you had some exciting news about the new album you're going to announce, but you're not ready yet. Well, it's going to be something a little bit different, but it's going to kick ass. Oh, how, how are you going to do like a, um, a concept type album? No. <laughs> or a theme? Or are you gonna no, like, I mean. Are you going to wear a different outfit? You're not going to. You're going to wear pants again. Wait. No. We're not gonna wear anything. No, the thing, yeah, and the skirts. The skirts are nice. The the Finnish flag skirts. Mm. That was like a, a pagan fest thing. He's really amusing himself. Yeah. <laughs> that was that a pagan fest design? You guys were excited about coming to the U.S. No, it was. And you you made the Finnish flag skirts, and that was. No, like... we. Got we made before. those earlier already. Oh, okay. But we will find something new for the next. But you don't normally wear a skirt, so when you tour Europe, you don't normally. You don't. This. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never really wear skirt, skirts normally. You just kind of like wear like pants and stuff. This is, no, like it's cool like these. American American metal bands will not killed. wear a skirt. You could not pay a band in, in the US to wear a skirt like you guys are brave you wear skirts it's cool it's part of your cultural thing you know and this is kind of really I know you no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to make it visually exciting okay well um you can sit on my lap we'll make it more visually exciting you can yes let's this. try that Mau to show your legs or Underwear or something. Let's, let, let's make it easier so I don't have to uh, move the boom microphone around. So, some kind of lap sit. Sit on my lap. I can go like this. Here we go. Am I squeezing your balls with my elbow? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So your next tour, you have a new outfit planned. Wait, I'm not ready. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's 
Let's try that again. I had real questions. Yeah. I don't know where they yeah, went. Yeah, go ahead. They're like on this piece. Right, let's try that again. Yeah. The across the lap thing. I actually had to write stuff down yeah. because I have a really bad habit of like. This okay. is good. This is perfect. Uh, all right. Well, what the hell was my question? Oh, um, your outfits are gonna be. You're gonna wear pants next time, or you have like no, a, no, like yet. A no. armor? No, okay. no, no, yet. Wait. I'm. I'm gonna wear a kilt until I die. Always? No, but you, you didn't wear skirts before. And okay. Well, I, I had leather pants that smelled so bad and they were so hot. I bought the kilt, and after that, it's you know. It's cool now. You wear nothing. Yeah. You wear, what do you wear? Well, that's nothing? a secret. I, that's, I was gonna ask that question next. <laughs> what, what do you wear? <laughs> Would you like me to hold that? I can no, hold it for you. Okay. Um. All right. Wait. I have to look at my little cheese. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, I had a bad habit of like, you know, like forgetting my questions and then cutting the band off yeah. while they're answering me. And, Good, try it. And, um, uh, Action! Uh, yes, <laughs> hurry up! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Uh, you know what, I'm really distracted now. You, okay. Uh, but you answered a lot of the other questions with his thing, but I wanted to know, your new album's probably going to come out when? September, later in the year of, of, of 2009. Yeah. Should and, be September. Yeah. And, and when are you going to stop touring to actually focus on that? Because you're touring After that, a lot. Yeah. So maybe September, October, November. Yeah. December. So, yeah. Hopefully we can do like. That's really. <laughs> yeah. See, you thought I was annoying with that. He's worse. Mm. He wins. Um, yeah, but hopefully we can get. Uh, but you're touring a lot now, a right bit. now, because of of uh, of. The, I really wanted to ask you guys about, you know, how important it was to come to the U.S. on your first tour. It was. You know, and, and you, did you realize you had such a following here? No. No. We couldn't expect anything. No. Yeah. So the Pagan Fest went really well, and so you came back pretty quickly. And are you going to come back before you, before you finish recording your next album? That's what I want to know. Are you going to do a couple more dates here? Coming. No, we're not back before. Before next album comes out, okay. even though we would like to, but you know, you, you have to focus on the, uh, yeah, on the writing because we want to make a killer album. And, and and you're you don't have any exciting news you wanted to like you want to expose. By the time this comes out, it's gonna be after the album's probably out because it won't be exciting news anymore. Mm. So you won't be revealing anything really, except you're gonna. Change your theme. You keep doing what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, I like village people. No, <laughs> you should actually. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, Fireman Marcus. Yeah, that's Didn't true. You, don't you have another band that's kind of like a joke band? Yeah, but we haven't done anything for many years. And you, you, but, you probably but won't. We'll, but you never we actually might, recorded might, anything. We'll, have you recorded any of that? No, but we made two live shows. <laughs> I heard about the live shows. I mean, I read that you did two live shows, but I didn't actually. I wanted to know if you're actually. <laughs> we have too many beers on the bus. Um, Good for you. So you have to lift it up a little more. Right. No, I wanted to know if you're. It's like kind of like a joke band. So you. Yeah. <laughs> we have an itch. Oh. Right there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. That's most question of because we have to drink at the bar. Oh. No, you don't. I had another question. How is um, the one female on the entire tour, your, your keyboardist, handling sharing a bus with, with, I don't know how many men, 16 men or whatever? Like, you know? Mm, not 13, but anyway, <laughs> she's she handling doing? the whole thing really well. And, and the shower situation, no shower tonight. Mm -hmm. No shower last mm -hmm. night. There was shower yeah, last night. Oh yeah, showers. Okay. Yeah. I know you have, like shower problems when you whenever you come to the US. Maybe it feels that we didn't have yeah. a shower. <laughs> Somebody is wearing a nice. He's wearing your your other member there is playing is wearing a nice aftershave cologne thing. <laughs> he's you, you wear the, the yeah. The, he's uh, a legend, and you know, as you can see, he's busy. Yes. Easy. So you do sink showers pretty much. As well. Until you can find a nice venue with a nice, comfortable hot. Wait, right, can you have shower. an interesting question? Who cares about the hygiene? 
<laughs> you like the hygiene question. Hey, I think I'm done. Let's I go, think that's question, it. Do you have anything you want to say about... That <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That's it? Okay. That's it. You want to no. see her, her last... Closing. Oh, yes, yeah, no, please. No, it's done. Oh. How long are you taking for this, dude? Oh, you smell like X. See ya. Oh. We're going for a bar. Okay. Hi there. Hello, children. Stay in school, otherwise we'll be doing this in 10 years. <laughs> the kind of irresponsible crap masquerading as journalism in the pages of the grimoire. That crap makes my tumor swell, man. Wearing a nice aftershave cologne thing. <laughs> he's you wear the, 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 yeah, he's uh, a legend, and you know, as you can see, he's busy. Yes. So you do sink showers pretty much until, until you can find a nice venue with a nice comfortable hot shower. Hey, can you have shower. an interesting question? Who cares about the hygiene? You like the hygiene question. Hey, hey, I think I'm done. Let's I go, think that's question, it. Do you have anything you want to say about... That <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That's it? Okay. That's it. You want no. to see her last... Closing. Oh, yes, Carla, please. No, it's done. Oh. How long are you taking for this? Oh, you smell like X. See ya. We're going for a bar. Okay. Hi there. Hello, children. Turkey? Stay in school, otherwise we'll be doing this in 10 years. The kind of irresponsible crap mask.